lads and welcome to this now today i am finally doing my retained fleetwood squad list reaction now if you're wondering what this is this is a microphone which helps my audio so hopefully it will improve um so sorry if it's a bit blurry on this one i am just starting to get used to speaking into a mic for the first time so thank you um for everyone's support on it um now the reaction list came out uh, a couple of days ago four players on it uh, paul jones the goalkeeper uh, 32 years of age i think he is didn't really play for us played once in the Carabao cup against leicester um where he didn't really do anything he let four goals in and ken is one of the best keepers in the league um Along with Craig McGilvery, Adam Davis, uh, John McLaughlin, they were under Thomas Holy, so many more good keepers in League One. Uh, I just don't think he was good enough. Do you think that will replace him? I'm not quite sure. Billy Crellin's an under 17 in England international, young lad. Is he old enough? Is he experienced enough? Will Barton give him the chance to put him in? I'm not quite sure. Um, but I think we'll sign a goalkeeper anyway, like a, maybe one on loan. It's just who wants to come and sit on the bench. You see Tottenham's problem. Uh, can't really sign a replacement for Harry Kane, who's happy to sit on the bench and be a, an impact player, like a bit like uh, Sonny used to be in Laurenti this season. Um, so that's the kind of problem we've got. Uh, the other one was Ryan Taylor, left back. Uh, you might know him from his time at Newcastle, um, and he went abroad for a bit in China, uh, back in England this year. Big wages as well, big player, big name, uh, big expectations. I think it was good that we let him go. Um, bring some young blood through. We've got good young players coming through now, like Ryan Rydell's a good left back. Um, Nathan Sharon's a good defender. Um, you look at uh, Jed Garner up front, who we can bring more of them through on wages than instead of Ryan Taylor. I think it's a good decision. He did all right for us when he played, but I would say he's a bit off past it now for me in League One, maybe League Two or Conference, but still a good player. He still represented Fleetwood, so thank you for that. The other one was James Wallace, my friend. Now, James Wallace actually gave me a shirt at Wimbledon away and was a very good guy that way after we won 3 0 on the Tuesday night in January. He wasn't good enough, but he always tried his best. He got better as it went along. He did well up until February when he got injured and he found it hard to get back in the side uh, over big ins and that kind of lot in midfield because we went on a decent run towards the end of the season. Um, with midfielders and we just wanted to try and experiment so I just thought he wasn't in Barton's plans for the future uh, the last seven games imp implemented that he didn't play at all you looked at Biggins played a bit uh, Sowerby played a lot more um, Hunter those kind of players played a lot more minutes than they would normally do so that's what I think happened and the other one was Joe Maguire now it's sad to see Joe go he was at the club 18 months didn't really play a lot the most he played was under show. He played about four or five times under him. At left back when he first came in, he played in the draw against MK and Plymouth. Um, and I think he played against Charlton away. Uh, but he's done really well at Crawley this year. Uh, like Crawley Town Red Devils reminds me. He really liked him. He's really fond of him. Uh, so shout out to him. Go and subscribe to him. He's a good guy. Um, and he'll give you the update on how he's feeling if they sign Joe Maguire. I think he'll go to a League 2 club. I think he will go to League 2. Uh, because they are... A kind of a club similar to Fleetwood, having got a massive amount of fans, but a club that survive every year in League Two and do really well for themselves, a club I respect. So they're the four that Paul Jones, obviously we've talked about, James Wallace, Ryan Taylor and Joe Maguire. Dean Marnie looks to be leaving the club, I don't think he's getting in. He was injured for a bit, he's on three and a half grand a week, rumoured to be, so it's big wages to take up if he can get rid. Good. He's not been great. I know Vizza loves him and D-Marn and all that. And the legend and all that. But I just don't think he's been good enough for us this year. He got cheered off when he left the pitch. Because he was pretty bad against Wimbledon. And he hasn't been seen since. Um, actually, Nadison looks to be off to Crawley as well. A player who improved as it went along. He just lacks that little bit, I think, in the final third. Um, he's got pace. Um, he works hard. Um, sometimes um, there's a bit of strength is needed sometimes you should have got four against Barnsley I think if he is a lead two player but if he carries on he'll do really well remember he did make a, a massive step up from Hawley Town where he scored 99 goals in two seasons and he played good lead two football scored a few in league one scored the winner against Sunderland I think it's just a matter of time until he breaks into the league one maybe even the championship I just don't think he's better than Hunter Madden or Ched this year and the four lone players have gone back 
uh, Louis Coyle, very sad to see I got his shirt last year, he's a good player, he's Louis, um, a right back, left back, centre back, centre mid, played in numerous different, five different positions this year, um, right wing back as well, um, he's very versatile, works hard, hard working and he's a good player, he's a league one player, I think he can break into the championship any day i'm hoping we get him back i'm not sure about his contract at least i'm not sure if it's out this summer or next summer but it'd be great to see if we can have him back we've had him on loan for two seasons over 95 appearances for us in um all competitions uh ched evans has gone back our ever highest efl goal scoring one season with 17 goals he had a magnificent season he brought the ball down really well his link up play with Paddy Madden, 35 goals between them. Um, they were really, really good together. Uh, they were, pa pa Paddy did his running, he needed the old up play that Paddy couldn't always do. So I respect him for that. Um, and then you've got the other ones who have gone back. James Husband, again, he did quite well when he was with us. Um, he had a decent start. Um, and he kind of faded away, but then he came good again. Jason Hart went back a few months ago, um, so he, shame his injury got cut short because of the injury at Accrington. Again, will we see him again? Probably not. And the other one was my favourite uh, loanee that we had was Harry Shooter. Came in in February. Oh, a loanee from Stoke, everyone said, including myself. What a guy he turned out to be. Tall, physical, booted everything away. No not to centre half and it looks like he might be coming back. Puts him out on his Twitter, see you soon, so and Wes put see you next season, so I'm hoping that is a sign. So that is my reaction. I'm happy with the players that we've let go. I think a few more would add. And add a few players and it'll be good. We've got Carlisle and Port Vale away in pre season. I'm happy about that. Um obviously two League Two clubs, a new ground in Carlisle. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope um, enjoying the content at the moment please subscribe we're a couple away from 3500 as we talk and it'd be great to hit it thank you for your support and i will see you next time thank you peace out